Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Ford Fiesta, then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Ford Fiesta 1 litre EcoBoost ZTEC. It's a 5 door, it's a 1000cc, 2014 on a 14 plate. The mileage is 111,881. It's had two owners from new. We've just MOT'd it, we've put two back tyres on it as well. Uh, so it's uh, it's pretty much ready to go. It's also just been serviced. So nothing to spend on it, just ready to go and nothing to spend for 12 months. Fuel economy. Now this is where it uh, it gets interesting. Urban, 53.3 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 76.3 miles per gallon. And combined is 65.7. A nought 60 time of 11.2 seconds. A top speed of 112 miles per hour out of a 99 brake horsepower, nine valve engine. So it's a three cylinder, uh, three valve engine. I'm just going to turn the engine on. It's uh, quite warm today. Get this air conditioning blasting away. And uh, I'll show you the service history too. Uh, so, uh, for reasons best known on to themselves, Evans Halshaw, their main Ford dealer, uh, have stamped the book 8th to 7th 2015 at, uh, it couldn't be any more confusing really, at 12,436 miles. So not only did the service receptionist miss this huge gap here, but he also managed to write the wrong mileage in to start off with, or, or the invoice in the distance and, and you know, don't get me started. Next one, 5th of 4th, 2016, at 27,722 miles. Evan Solskjaer, Chester again, he's managed to actually get ink on the stamp there as well, so improving. Here, they've obviously changed staff. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's in a young lady who's done that. It's all nice and neat. 21st of the 3rd, 2017, 48,214. Evans holds your Chester again. Then 13th of the 4th, 2018 at uh, 69,904 ATS Euromaster. 20th of the 5th, 2019 um, at 90,916 ATS Euromaster Limited. And then we've just had uh, Northwest Auto Care, the garage that we deal with. Uh, they've serviced it, as I say, put new back tires on it and MOT'd it as well. 19th of the 5th, 2020, and uh, that's at 111,885. So, as I say, car's ready to go. It's a real good spec. Um, <coughs> they, they drive so well. Uh, they sound so good for a three-cylinder engine as well. They, uh, they sound really meaty. Ford were kind enough to lend me one of these, a, a brand new one, not so long ago, uh, for a week. And uh, gosh, I, I, I was buzzing all over the place in it. And the, again, the, the, they're really good. When they lend you a car to, to test out, they fill it up with fuel, drop it off at your door, and you have it for a week to see what you think. And uh, after a week, I'd been all over the place and it was still nearly half full of petrol. And so. I, I can I can say that they're absolutely fantastic cars. Really, really well equipped. The ZTEC as well. You've got heated front screen, which in the winter is worth its weight in gold. It's nice. I always say about Ford gearboxes, but they are second to none, really. In the old days when I used to work for Vauxhall, Vauxhalls were pretty, well, the, the, they weren't pretty good cars until Opal um, lent them theirs to put different fronts on, but uh, Ford's always had better gearboxes, and they always just had that bit better spec, and they were always just one step ahead of Vauxhalls. And it, it's pretty much the same today. Um, this this car, it's got a great audio system. It's got Bluetooth hands-free. It's got Bluetooth audio streaming as well air conditioning and the, the air conditioning in this is icy cold it is a warm day today and it, it's it's lovely in here 
the seats are, are nice and well finished off. Um, a kind of a chevron pattern in the centre and uh, charcoal uh, bolsters with contrast stitching as well. This piano black on the dashboard, aluminium finish around the steering wheel and also the door handles. Piano black on the actual grab handle. And it, here we go, it, it, there's no, it, uh, it drives really, really nice. It's not been cleaned yet, but it has been disinfected. Um, Lancer's got yet another new machine, which sprays a, a mixture of, I think it's hydrogen peroxide. So uh, it, it was still a bit damp when I got in it. So if the back of my jeans go blonde and my shirt, you'll, you'll know what it was. But um, we, we are taking this uh, pandemic seriously. We don't want to kill anybody by selling them a new car. And yeah. we don't want to die ourselves. So you can trust that we are taking the, uh, the best precautions we can and that the car will be, uh, um, well, treated with an antibacterial spray. I think, I think Lance has got UVC, he's, he's got a fogging machine, and he's also got this spray gun now. So we can uh, guarantee that we kill 99% of all germs and that we give the last one a nasty headache. So uh, I don't think we can do any much, anything more really to uh, look after our customers and ourselves to be fair. Back to the car. It's finished in, I think the colour is deep impact blue, although I could be wrong. It's a really nice colour and probably my favourite colour in um, the, the Ford range. It's got alloy wheels. I always keep wanting to change to six, but honestly the, the, the six gear would be fairly redundant on, on this small engine unless you're on the motorway cruising at about 90 miles an hour. It's really geared for economy anyway. But it's still fairly nippy. It's a five door hatch. Got quite a bit of load space there in the back. And uh, the load cover which lifts up with the, the tailgate. They're really fun to drive. They handle great. Uh, I also, I was lucky enough, again, Ford invited me to, uh, well, it's spelt Chon Cholmondley, but it, I think it's Chumley Castle. And uh, they invited me there to drive the new Ford Fiesta when it came out. And really, they drive like a lot bigger car and it, it's so easy to speed which I was doing then so right I'm doing 70 now there we go doing 70 it 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 don't feel like you're doing 70s I think it's I don't know the 300 engine it uh, it throws me but it's nice nice tidy car it's a price range car We've kept it under the 4,000 um, range or price range um, to be obviously to appeal to more people. And um, I, I don't think you get a better car for that money. Multifunction steering wheel, I think. Yeah, height and reach adjustable. There's a, a little lever there, the left hand side. If the lights are on red when we get to them, I'll just show you. And uh, you've got your audio controls here and telephone control. Wipers on the left, indicators on the right. Over here, you've got your 
electric door mirrors and your electric front windows. The, the rear windows are um, wind up handles. You've got Isofix rear child seat anchor points. In the back there, airbags just about everywhere. Even in, I think there's one in, in the seats, one over there, one here. Just down here, we've got the power socket and also aux in, and I think there's a USB. Yeah, couldn't see for the handbrake there. Cup holders. Nice, nice steering wheel. Some cars you get in, and the, the steering wheel's too skinny. This is uh, really well padded and nice. Hopefully, this guy's not going to go off here. There are certain cars that make me drive too fast, and, and this is one of them. You do tend to see Fiestas nipping in and out of traffic, and uh, especially in town. Steering wheel's nice and light. Here we go, we'll just do that. There we go, height and reach adjustable. And then also, the actual handling of the thing. Just turn that down, it's getting too cold in here. truck there. BMW X2. I think that's probably uh, the second one I've seen. Perhaps X2 stands for there's only two of them. Take it through these bends. No, no noises, rattles or knocks. Really, really good. What a place to park. Well, 
well, uh, anyway, soon car dealers uh, can go back to work. I'm not sure the exact date. So we'll look forward. We won't, as I've said in previous videos, we're, uh, we won't be delivering. Um, we'll do our best to make you as safe as possible and us as safe as possible. But it's always best to go and see a, a car at the garage. Um, to be honest, the, the thing today is with websites, you can, you can have a website and look like the biggest, best garage in the world and uh, and you're not so you're always best looking at reviews to start off with before you even decide to go and buy a car and then go and see the people and uh, not just have a driver turn up on your your door unload your car and uh, hand it over um, we've got live chat you can email us you can telephone us to start off with you can get a, a finance quote online you can fill a finance proposal uh, in online and get accepted online you can get a part exchange an instant part exchange on our website so um, you can do all that side of it but it's always best to come to the garage um, as I say we, we won't be delivering unless it's exceptional circumstances we won't be delivering uh, we'll come and pick you up at the train station or whatever but um, we, we think that's the best way of uh, doing business to be fair for, for everyone concerned so I'm not sure I, th I think it'll probably be a we've got a transit custom um, with uh, the extra seats in I think that's probably going to be the next video uh, but uh, until then I'm just going to stop in a short while I'll show you how to delete a mobile, pair a mobile, and stream audio through this system in this uh, this car. Um, but thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.